All right, citizens of Buffalo, we're back. Man, it's time to head into the offseason of year number four. Oh, man. I was hoping for such a better run to make up for the first three years of failure here. And, of course, we go up 2-0 in the series against the Boston Bruins after the first two games. And then we might as well just got swept out four in a row. And, you know, I was looking back at the video, looking at some of the stats because I'm still getting new to the new heads-up display when it comes to the simulation engine. And it seems like Tuka Rask really stole that series. I mean, game six, we lost two to one. But by the end of the game, we had 45 shots to 20. More than double the amount of shots, and we lose 2-1. to one. And I think the same can be said for uh, the previous games as well, right? So, our team was able to keep the puck out of the net, I suppose, for the last yeah for the last two games. I mean, overtime lost 3-2. to two. Game 6 lost 2-1, to one, but our offense just did not show up. It was there for game number 2. We got 5 goals, but even game 1, we won 2-1. to one. Lost four to two, only two goals four. Lost four to two, only two goals four. Lost three to two, only two goals four. Lost two to one, only one goal four. So uh, other than that game two, Tuka Rask like played like a stud and ended up taking it for the Boston Bruins. So I'm sorry, boys. I'm sorry, couldn't get it done. But good news is that the the owner said that at least we made the playoffs this year and we pushed it to a game six. If I can make it to a second round next year, I can keep my job, all right? And the good news about uh, the salary cap situation is that uh, I'd imagine I'll be able to get everyone re-signed for at least one more year because we don't have to give Gooley or Day their big boy contracts just yet. That comes up next year, all right? So uh, it sucks, but at least we're still young and... Hopefully next year can be a bright year for us. But we still have the AHL squad, Rochester, down there in the AHL playoffs. They're down 2-1 to one in the series right now. they got to win two in a row. Let's see what happens. Let's see if they can take it. Oh, Buffalo Sabres have lost locker room chemistry. Uh, edit scout, you know, it doesn't even really matter where I send my scout right now. I gave away my two first, uh, my two first round picks. Oh, my God. Why couldn't we have had a better year? And Rochester loses in game five. So, nothing but losses in the first round for both squads. So, let's just let's just get up to it. Let's go all the way to the draft. Resign stage. Sign free agents. NHL entry draft. Yeah, we'll go up all the way here, boys. Let's see who's going to take the Stanley Cup, the NHL, all the uh, NHL awards that we have. Oh, man. I really did think that we could go a little bit farther. Maybe if we had Tuka Rask on our squad instead of Malcolm Subban. Even though, even though Subban played great, he got us into the playoffs. You know, Boston, when we traded for Malcolm Subban, they wanted Tuka as their starter, and it makes sense, man. 45 shots to 20. Can you believe that? The guy stole it for them. Their best defensive player, Cody Fred. Uh, yeah, best defensive, not defensive player. That would be like Patrice Bergeron. Their best defenseman overall-wise. Freaking Cody Franzen. And your Stanley Cup champions in year number four. Le Montreal Canadien. Carey Price. P.K. Subban, man. Max Pacioretty. Alex Galchenyuk. They get it done. Stanley Cup. Oh, my God. They're going crazy over there in Montreal right now. Ole Ole can be heard across the nation. Uh, yeah, you know what? Screw the scouting assignment. Salary cap, blah, 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 boo. All right, so the Montreal Canadiens took it. We'll take a look at the award. Awards, see who won the uh, the Conn Smythe for the Montreal Canadiens. I'm going to say Carey Price. I'm going to say Carey Price. Now, hang on, let me just go all the way up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So, let's take a look at what's going on around in the NHL. AHL, uh, where is it? Is it Stats? Stats Central. Playoff Awards, Playoff Tree. So, first, let's take a look at the Playoff Tree, what happened here. So... The Boston Bruins ended up beating the Carolina Hurricanes in seven games, but then ended up losing to the Montreal Canadiens in the Eastern Conference Final. So we lost to the team that lost to the Stanley Cup champions. Okay, okay. And in the Western Conference, the Dallas Stars, they had to get through the Chicago Blackhawks in five, the Anaheim Ducks in six, the San Jose Sharks in seven, and then they lost to the Montreal Canadiens in five. Dallas versus Montreal, Stanley Cup Final. Very interesting right there. All right, and last but not least, let's take a look at uh, awards. Oh, there it is. Awards. Stanley Cup, the Montreal Canadiens. So the four years that we've been here, it's been the Islanders in year number one, the Penguins in year number two, the Maple Leafs in year number three, and the Canadians in year number four. What the hell has the Western Conference done? I guess uh, things have changed. It's no longer the Chicago Blackhawk and Los Angeles King Show. It's the Eastern Conference Show now, baby. Uh, President's Trophy, the Winnipeg Jets, Clarence S. Campbell, the Dallas Stars, Prince of Wales, yeah, and the Montreal Canadiens. Let's go to uh, player... Uh, 
Hang on, hang on. No, AHL, no, 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 no. Team awards, player awards. Yeah, we'll go to player awards. Art Ross Trophy, Alexander Ovechkin, Hart Memorial. Uh, oh, man, are you kidding me? Award to the player most. No, 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 that's not the heart. Yeah, you guys were saying that Sam Reinhart needs to win the uh, Lady Bing. The Lady Bing, that's the one. Hart Memorial goes to uh, Shifley. James Norris, Eric Carlson, Lady Bing. Nicholas Backstrom. Ah, oh! Backstrom took it, boys. Backstrom took it for Reinhardt. He had zero penalty minutes. He's not going to take it. I guess he didn't have as many points as Backstrom did. Uh, Calder Memorial, Joshua Hosang. Conn Smythe, Carey Price, I called it. I think it was goalies. Yeah, look, it's been goalies the last four years. Halak for Islanders. Marc-Andre Fleury for the Penguins. Jonathan Bernier for the Leafs. And Carey Price for the Canadians. Vesna Trophy, Jonathan Quick. Uh, William N. Jennings. Marc-Andre Fleury, Bill Masterton, who's that? Ty Wither Witherspoon, T Ty Thomas, w I don't know his first name. Frank J. Selke, Ryan Getzlaff, Ted Lindsay, Mark Shifley, and Maurice Richard, Alexander Ovechkin. That's why Backstrom probably took the Lady Bing Ovi on his line. He gets a lot more points because of it. All right, so there you go. Hang on one second, boys. Let me just blow my nose. All right, that's much better. Um... You know what? It just said my locker room. Yeah, my locker room chemistry down in 68%. I want to see... I want to make sure that these guys are going to re-sign with me. Hang on a second here. Morale. Oh, excuse me. Is it because I got kicked out of the playoffs? They're all angry? Neutral, neutral. They're not angry. They're just not... Yeah, they're not happy anymore. Okay, I see. I want to see... What Does it say anything about being kicked out of the playoffs? Yeah, has lost morale for getting eliminated from the playoffs has gained morale as a result of a team meeting. He was the one guy who enjoyed my team meeting. Remember that? Oh, my God. All right, so enough's enough. Let's sim to the draft, get into the free agency. If we have some cap space, maybe there's a move that we can make. I don't know. I like the team that we have, other than the fact that we got kicked out in the first round, but I'm going to blame that on Tuka Rask, all right? So starting the NHL entry draft in year number four. We do not, I repeat, we do not have a first-round pick. Islanders, Philadelphia, Calgary. Vancouver, Nashville, Detroit, Detroit, uh, Rangers, Rangers got two, let's see where our picks would have been, hang on a sec here, hang on a sec here, where do we, oh yeah, they don't tell us where they, oh, I don't, um, uh, Nashville, yeah, it was like the Nashville pick, there we go, so there's Nashville right there, and Philadelphia, let's see, Philly, so I think I would have had the 17th and the 24th pick, had I not traded for Ryan Ellis and Wayne Simmons, yeah, 17 and 21st. I don't think, uh, no, this wasn't mine. That was Nashville's actual actual pick. All right, so sim options, sim to the user pick, and I want to see what the computers get here in the first round. Sim to the user Did I press A? I think I pressed A. There you go. Now I pressed it. Uh, Ackerman for a third round pick? Nah, you know what? Screw that. I don't need any more draft picks coming in. All right, so the New York Islanders with their first overall pick, a left wing, two-way forward, Bentley, elite, medium, very nice. Round two, oh, oh, shit, what is this? Round two, pick 28, wow. I am way back here. Let's see here, round one. D, Bentley, left wing, elite, uh, two-way forward, very nice. Turakov, elite, defensive defenseman, very nice. Uh, Cardwell, elite left wing power forward. So there was definitely a nice top five here. Ooh, B. Elliott, left wing grinder. The return of Lou Morris, maybe. Uh, Conacher, Conacher, left wing, oh, sorry, right wing sniper, elite, very good. And then B. Hale, yeah, okay. So you had five elite players in this one. No centers, though, interesting. Left wing defenseman, left wing, left wing, and right wing. Maybe that grinder you could play up the middle, though. Top six. Elite, there you go. There's another guy. Elite left wing sniper. Uh, starter, starter, elite right wing grinder, <laughs> Trudeau, very good, maybe there's somebody that we can find here, top six, top six, top four grinder, elite offensive defenseman, well, you know what, we're way at the uh, end of the second, so hang on, yeah, I got two minutes left, make a pick, all right, so let's just see what's available here, I really don't know what I want to get, uh, projected, let me just see all the projected, undrafted, here we go, second and third round. Bottom six forward, bottom six, Getzlaff. Oh, McEachran. Let's see, get an American. I'd Billy McEachran. Do I need another sniper coming back for this team? I don't think so. I already have Burke holes. Uh, I do, I did trade away a few setters. Pecker. You know what? I have, I have Palmu, Altonin, 
I got a center for them. Oli yeah, Jokola, Jokola. You know what? Yeah, I want to. I want to get this guy. We're gonna a center two-way forward that can maybe play a lot in the middle of uh, Altonin and Palmu if I need to, or down there in the AHL. I'm gonna take. A, I'm gonna take a chance with this. The fantastic Finn coming to Buffalo. Let's see. Uh, bottom six forward. All right, not bad. Not bad. I'll take that. There was worse, worse players out there. All right, so sim options. Sim. Ah, oh, fuck. I meant to sim to my pick. Sim options. Sim to user pick. That gets left guy was a low bottom six. So I got the medium bottom six. And then round three, pick number three. Uh, make pick. What do we got? What do we got? I got the center. Uh, center sniper. Are all these centers? Looks like it all. Hang on. Projected. Ah, I hate how it sorts from the bottom up. Here we go. McEachern, Hedin, Bemstrom, Tanabi, Afanasenkov, Glenn, Staples... Okay, who should we take a chance with? How about another defender? Yeah, I want to go get another defender. I already got the center. Let's just grab the top defender. You know what? I could use an offensive defenseman just in case. Not the two-way guy. Let me try one of these. The two-way guy could be going in the second round, though. I'm going to take a chance on the super sweet. We got a fantastic Finn. Hadeen, baby. That's a defense. I need him. Uh, top six. Low top six defenseman two-way. All right, all right. Sim options. Sim to user pick. One more pick, boys. Then we'll just sim the rest of the draft, all right? Make pick. It's in the third round. 17th. Wow, man. I hate that. Just just sort by the top. Here we go. Here we go. I'm clicking the buttons. Here we go. <laughs> Click it again. Very nice. Staples. Uh, Bermanis. Schwartz. Pecker. Grinder. Center. With a name like that. I gotta get it. Pecker, baby. Make that pick. Pecker. Top nine grinder. Hell yeah. There we go. It's like a third line center right there. E. Pecker. All right, that's enough. That's enough drafting right now. The top three rounds. Uh, sim options. Sim entire drafts. Let's see what else my team brings in. But remember, this team is not about the draft anymore. We have exactly what we need on this team. I need to start producing during the regular season and the playoffs. Thankfully, we made the playoffs last year. But after that, two wins in the playoffs, and then that's it, man. Four straight. We did, we did end up getting swept out. It's ridiculous. All right, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I know I got to do contracts. All right, so I'll show you why we have some good news when it comes to contract situations. When I've, uh, at least the way I've built this team, I've kept all contracts um, pretty low. And all long contracts are contracts from people that I want on this squad. So I, th I still think the roster is fairly healthy here in Buffalo. I'll show you guys what I mean. And my nose is just, hang on one second, boys. This is annoying as fuck. Ah, there we go. Much better. I don't feel as congested. All right. So if you take a look at the bottom, cap space for this year, we have $20 million. That's going to be uh, necessary to sign all these guys. Malcolm Subban, we got to sign. He's probably going to want a real contract. Martin Jones, if he wants starters money, I'll let him go to free agency. I don't need him as a backup. I can go with Kakinen. Stuart Skinner can get the uh, first line job in the AHL this year. Can figure that out. Uh, defenseman, you know what? In fact, I'll just do this with you guys because it's not that many players. I, I checked before I started recording. So let's take a look at what Malcolm Subban wants here. Ooh, seven point eight million. Per year, boys. All right, so I'm only gonna give him a three-year deal, so I can get the uh, I can get the best deal out of this. This is rough, considering I only have 20 million dollars of cap space. But uh, he's got medium elite. He's 25. He's already 89 overall. You guys wanted that young goaltender. Hopefully, this guy can jump up to the 90s. In the meantime, and I know he's making a lot of money, but we do have Stuart Skinner coming up. And if Stuart Skinner can show that he's got a better future, then boom. If not, Stuart Skinner, we got a nice trading asset. So hang on, let me think. I can go down. I think I can go down to. I think I can go down to 6.750 over three years for Malcolm Subban. Right? I don't want too much money there. There you go. Three years. Jones, how much does Jones want? Offer contract. Uh, two mil. If I could sign him, I wouldn't mind him as a backup just in case. Kakinen, if you wanted a two year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, three years. There you go. Kakinen. Two way deal. Perfect. All right, so Kakinen's back. Uh, Tavares, that goalie, I guess we just drafted him, fringe starter, all right, I'll wait for him, defenseman, normally I do power of video editing for this, boys, but this is important, we don't have that much to sign, all right, so you can see, we already have Hedman signed, Bogosian's a big one, because next year he's going to want money, maybe a trading piece for this year, but we still have him for one more year, Ryan Ellis, though, how much is he going to want, oof, yeah, he wants north of five, all right, so three years, same thing with a Malcolm Subban. So these guys that I'm signing, they're on a two-year run with us, all right? Malcolm Subban and Ryan Ellis, two years, then we got to reassess 
their position on this squad because they do have hefty contracts, especially with all the guys that we have, like uh, Day, Gooley, Reinhardt, Eichel, all these guys who eventually got to get... Day and Gooley especially, they're getting contracts next year. Anyways, uh, three years, 4.5. I could probably go up a little bit lower. Let me try to go... 4.4 for three years. I got to save money here. All right, 4.4 for three years. Ryan Ellis is going to get back to us. Uh, you can see Gooley, one more year at his minor league. Same thing with Day, two more years on his minor league. So we're going to save some money there. Rasmus Ristolainen, 84 overall at 2.25 for two more years. That's a bargain, so I'll take that. Uh, here's some AHL players. He's already 79. I'll use him for the AHL. Hell yeah. Uh, you, one year. Get him three years on a minor league deal. That's a good That's a good contract. That guy could be serviceable. B. Martin. There you go. Go down here. I won't sign these guys just yet. Datsuk and Hedin. Let me just see the rest of the squad. Ribeiro, I won't sign you. Let me just see. I don't want to get too many players. So let me just go my NHL squad first. And then I'll do some power of video editing. And I'll do all that extra stuff. All right. So there's the defensemen. Right wingers. Uh, you can see Sam Reinhardt. He signed long term at six and a half. One, two, three, four. Four years. So... The three years for Subban and Ellis makes sense. Wayne Simmons. I want to get this guy back. I can't l allow him just to walk to free agency. Now, he wants term. Yeah, he wants term, but he's going to be dropping. That's the problem. I don't want to give him too much. He would get seven years, though. Seven years. No, six years. You know, I'll give you four years. The same as a, uh, you know what? That's even three years. I'll give you three years. Yeah, I'll give you three years there. Four years, because I can really, this guy is not going to be expensive at all. Four years, screw it. Four years, and I can trade him if I need to. Three years, I don't want to get caught with a contract, boys. I'm going to go three years. I don't want to get caught with a ridiculous contract. And I was I was expecting to have to pay him like north of like six and a half. So three years at six, that works out for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep, uh, keep Wayne, Malcolm Subban, and Ryan Ellis on the same contract lengths. That way, you guarantee that they're freed up. For the year that you got to re-sign Sam Reinhardt. Okay, that's good. Palmin P, this is a big one because he was making uh, 5 mil when I traded for him. So I'm freeing up some cap space right there. But I can't sign you just yet, Palmin P. You're going to be dropping over the course of the year. I think I got to give room. Like Alton now is 82. Yeah, yeah. Palmin P, you're off the team. Sorry, my man. Uh, I won't leave. I got to cut him. I got to cut Palmin P, boys. I got to cut him. Releasing him. I got to cut him. That's going to hurt. It's going to hurt some people's morale. But I got to cut Palmin P. Let's see. Bogosian is last. I uh, lost morale because Jason Pominville was released. Anyone else? Nobody else. Pominville helped us get into the playoffs. He turned the team around, but uh, I don't need him. I don't need him. Uh, Downey and Talbot. I'm going to release these two guys. Release. I don't need their uh, their caps. There you go. Talbot, release. I got plenty of guys who can play in the AHL and the NHL. Wayne Simmons is on. There you go. Uh, won't sign these guys just yet. Actually, I'll sign you. You're 74 overall. I'll sign you. You're, you're good. There you go. Our AHL squad is going to be stacked, man. All these guys were in the mid-70s ready to play. As soon as, as soon as Stuart Skinner turns into a good goalie, watch out down there. Uh, Anderson, I'll hold off on you. Isbister, AHL. Okay, I'll hold off on all these guys. Centers. See what I mean? Ryan O'Reilly, Turris, and Larson. They got these guys signed. Ryan O'Reilly's got one, two, three, four. Four years left for Ryan O'Reilly. So, yeah, the the, the big guns, O'Reilly, Reinhardt, Eichel, they got like four years left. And then the guys I traded for, they got three years left. So, it's working. Turris has got like five years left. Six, six years left. So, we're fine there. Larson, Gergensen's got to sign him. Uh, he wants, you know, I'm going to wait on Gergensen's. He's an RFA. And he may lose his spot this year. I can always tender a qualifying offer and trade him if I don't have the cap space. Spalling, I'm going to release you. I don't need you, Spalling. There you go. Uh, very nice. Riat, I want to re-sign you. 74 overall. That works for me. Very good. 0.7 mil. Boom. Uh, Dadanoff, should probably re-sign you. But let me just wait. Let me just wait for these guys. Uh, Pecker, top 9, 64 overall. Very good. Uh, Yokola, 67 overall, bottom six. So, bottom six forward, top nine forward. These guys, some depth for the future. We have Dadanoff in there as well as a low top nine forward. They're all 20 years of age. Just putting some depth in the cupboard. All right. And I think, yeah, that's everyone. All right. So, I've offered seven contracts. Let's, uh, I, I wish I could just simulate from this screen. All right. Here we go. Let me back out. I know I can do it from the main page here. Advanced day and then just go to contracts. So let's see what happens here, all right? Uh, oh, we got some, yeah, Adam Ernie's happy because Malcolm Subban just re-signed. Hang on, we might as well just watch the top. It's going to just tell us it all anyways.
Oh, no, it's not. Ryan Ellis has accepted our, our uh, contract. Wayne Simmons has accepted. Good. Malcolm Subban has accepted. Uh, Kara Betchek. Uh, Martin has accepted. Kakadin. Uh, Riyat. Very good. So we got everyone back on the squad. Go to contracts. Let's see how much cap space we have. This could be a good year for free agency, man. If there's somebody out there. Go to, I'm pressing the A button. I, I, I swear to Christ, man. Uh, list all contracts. All right. So... I think we have everyone signed now, overall-wise. We still have 6.38 million. I think the only guy we have to sign who didn't sign, who's got some overall, is Gergensons. Yeah, and everyone else is signed. So I'll sign Gergensons, I'll go through and get all the rookies, and then we'll come back. Power of video editing. All right, so I just sent out the uh, the offers to everyone else. Is my mic good here? Hang on. I know that sounds like shit. Yeah, we're on. Um, just sent out the offers to everyone else. Some gets Gergensons. He accepted. I gave him, I believe, three years at 3.25, and then a few AHL uh, two-way two-way deals. All right, and also, oh shit, I think um, I think it popped up there. I didn't actually talk about it. I had enough money. You see the cap space. We have everyone resigned now, and we have. Uh, 1.3 million dollars of cap space remaining, so that's why Jason Pominville had to get out of there. But that's what I mean, man. I've at least I've gotten this this roster, this roster on paper, contract-wise, pretty healthy. And Malcolm uh, Subban, he's signed, and Martin Jones, I got him for one year as a backup, and uh, he won't complain about ice time either, even though he's 85 overall. Because if you look at his role at the top, it says backup goaltender. So an 89 starter and an 85 goaltender. I'm doing everything I can to guarantee myself another playoff run. And with two goalies like that, with a good defensive squad, and hopefully we can get some offense, that should be good enough to make the playoffs. So we got everyone re-signed now. Everyone I need anyways. Let me just go make sure once again. A few guys I left uh, unsigned. I don't need them right now. There's no spot for them on the AHL squad. Not until they're in their 70s. So I'll let all these guys just grow. And I released a few players that uh, didn't look like they had a future on our squad. All right. So there it is. Let's go to calendar now and advance to free agency and see what's available in the market. Uh, simulate. Well, let me just uh, let me simulate up to this day. I again going back to my uh, MLB 15 game. I it's it's all the simulating with the GM mode is screwing me up. I want to make sure I don't accidentally miss the day. Uh, go to contracts, advanced day, sim to free agency, sim to free agency. I guess that would have worked as well. So we're 93, 92, and 93. I think our defense defensive stats will go up over the course of the year with day and Gooley. i'm hoping anyways um but we don't really have that much cap space available i just want to see what is out there so thomas tatar the tampa bay lightning traded for him from the detroit red wings i'd imagine they'd have to uh or they gave up a pretty penny for him you guys saw the trade value and he ends up going into free agency his very first year my god all right, so $8 million. We don't have the cap space. We don't have the cap space for anyone here. We got Andrew Ladd, Tyler Myers. I could have brought him back to uh, Buffalo. That wouldn't have been a bad signing, but again, I just don't have the uh, cap space. Uh, Braden Shen, Vlasic, Haglin. Some good players out there this year. I just don't have the uh, the space for them, boys. Let's see any goaltenders. Any potential goalies out there? Sergey Bobrovsky's out there. Jimmy Howard. Oh, my God. Some... Damn, free agency is packed this year. All right, so let's just take a look at some potential. See if there's any young rookies that we could sign. Fringe starter, fringe starter, uh, backup. I already have some fringe starters. I don't need these guys. Nah, I don't need anyone getting in the way of uh, the goalies that I already have. I'm not signing, boys. I'm starting to learn. You don't just sign players just to have the uh, just to, for the sake of it. You got to get exactly what you need. Not have anyone angry messing up that chemistry. All right, top six defensemen, top six. These guys are all in their mid-20s. No, thank you. And then let's just go forwards. Top nine forward, uh, 25. They're all, no, nah, they're all bottom six. No. No, boys, we're just going to leave it right there. I like the team that we have. I got everyone signed. We're just under the cap. Let's just take this straight to year number five in preseason, all right? Power with video editing. Uh, here we go. September 2019, the beginning of year number five. We're up here in preseason, boys. And now it's time to do it all over again. Our locker room chemistry down at 68%. We got to get that baby up there. 
All right, so we're not going to do any simulating in this video, but I would like to set up the uh, lines that way that you guys can see them and maybe make any suggestions that you may have because I think we may have the same kind of issue that we had last year. A few too many roster players considering our young guns who are coming up. So we do have some trading assets potentially. All right, so let's just go to roster moves and let's see what our squads look like. So first the NHL, sure. Uh, goaltenders. All right, so... Uh, can I look at everything in the system? Okay, so Stuart Skinner, 77 overall coming into this year. So he did get some nice growth over the year. He's listed as a minor league backup goaltender, but I think that will grow. So he still, he still belongs in the minors, boys. He's only 20 years of age. Goaltenders, they're not like skaters, you know. They take a little bit longer to develop, especially a guy who goes first overall. My God, I don't know how. Anyways, 77 overall, he'll have another good year in the system, especially with all those 70 overall defensemen that he has. Uh, let me just send Kakinen back down because he doesn't need to be up here. All right, so Martin Jones, 85. Let me just make sure he stayed as a backup. Yeah, his role is a backup goalie. So you know what I just re realized? I just, because I'm clicking down on the things, I don't need the game freezing on me right now. That would be a lot of work, just gone for nothing. <laughs> Override current file, hang on. I should have done that when I was doing the uh, power of video editing. <laughs> EA Sports, you've made me learn. Save your game, boys. Save your game. Don't need that shit uh, getting uh, deleted. All right, let's get back to that. Uh, where was I? Where was I? Buffalo Sabres rosters. Yes, rosters. Okay, so once again, the goaltender situation. We're going to have Martin Jones and Malcolm Subban, Sub-Zero, up here. And we're going to send Kakinen down to be the starter in the AHL. And if Stuart Skinner becomes better than him over the course of the year, then Stuart Skinner will be the starter. And that will happen automatically, so that, don't have to worry about that. Uh, defenseman. All right, so we got... No, 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 no. In the system. Where, 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 where is everybody? We got two guys not even up here. Ghoulie's up to 86 now. All right, Ghoulie. There we go. Uh, and Sean Day's up to 86 now, boys. Ah! So last year, you can see what I mean. It, it sucked that we didn't make it, but at least I kept the contract situation healthy, which will give us another chance with the same team, but the young guys are even better. You know what I mean? So I think we're an even better team than last year. One, Ghoulie's 86. The only problem is ice time now. This... This is what I mean about maybe we have to make a trade because of ice time uh, restrictions. I don't know. I, he, he, he. So that's what I mean about Bogosian. One year left at 5 mil. I won't be able to afford him next year. He might be the one who's going out, especially if I have... Yeah, he may he may be the one going out and then you trade for like a top six defenseman. Maybe, 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 boys. We'll get to that later. Uh, forwards. NHL. Let me just uh, check in the system. Bring up all the guys who could play. All right, so Alton and boys, the guy I drafted third overall in the year after, or the same year as Stuart Skinner. He went third. I drafted Stuart Skinner first overall. His defensive awareness is in the mid-80s. I like that. Guy's a power forward, so probably third or fourth line. He's listed as a third line checking forward. All right, Alton. And see, we have a, we, we're going to have a lot of players who could play this year. Uh, Estefan, he had his first full year in the NHL last year. Take a look at his stats. He's listed as a third line scoring forward, so two uh, third line Kurgansons, man. It may be time for you to go. Paul Moo, here's that fantastic fin I was talking about. He's 80 overall. If I could click on him, hang on. He's still listed as a minor league scoring forward, so I'll leave him down there. And Burkholz, 78 overall. He's, I wouldn't say he's listed as a. Oh, did it freeze? I'm so. Oh my God, the hockey gods were looking out for me, boys. The hockey guys were big time looking out for me. I saved it right at the right time. EA Sports, you're atrocious. How do you let this happen? <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. Power of video editing, boys. Thank God I saved it. Oh, there are times where good things happen to me. I got to remember times like that. Oh, thank Christ. Here we go. Let's do it. Whew. All right. So we're back. Whew. Hockey gods, man. Hockey gods. Thank God, man. I would have I would have flipped my shit if I had to go back and do all that all over again. Ha, huh, okay. So during the off season, always safe. So let's uh let's just redo all this again. I'll um I'll try to remember where I was. Ran upstairs to quickly blow my nose again. I don't know what's going on with my nose today. It's just one of those days. So Kakinen, uh, we're gonna send him back down. So Subban and Jones, very good. Defenseman, we're gonna have to bring up Gooley and Day. Gooley. You're coming up here. Sean Day, 86. You're coming up here. In the NHL. Oh my god, I gotta blow it again. Martin, you're going down. There we go. 
And Leduc, there we go. You go down. Forwards. Let me just bring up the guys that we had up here before. Altonin, you're coming up. Pressing the A button, there we go. Estefan, Pooh. Just sort by the overall, there we go. Estefan, very nice. And who's this This guy, Kutak? I drafted him, when did I draft him? 2016 in the third round. Top six low, he's already at 82 overall. Defensive awareness is up at 89. Fourth line forward, this is what I mean, like he's a playmaker though. I don't know if I like that. I'll bring him up, I'll bring him up. Because he is listed as a fourth line, I got too many players. Alright, hang on. Uh, I gotta blow my nose again. Hang on, boys. This is ridiculous. Oh, lovely. Absolutely lovely. All right, so, Riat, you're going down. I don't know how many open spots I have here. Karabat, you're going down. Cantonecci, you're going down. There we go. And then, that's 18. So, there's 18 skaters right there. And the one guy who's not getting the chance is this Kutak guy, but he's a fourth liner. I can always leave him down in the minor so he can tear it up, but maybe he'll get angry that he's not getting the right ice time then. Uh, well, I'll leave him down there, okay? I'll leave him down there. I'll, you guys know that he's there. If you guys have something to say, go ahead and say it. Uh, we're not doing any simulating in this video. I want to see the comments that you guys have and any line changes that we may need to make because we're going to have an entire year here of people not getting the ice time that they want, right? So, first line, Jack Eichel, Ryan O'Reilly, Sam Reinhart. Second line, Evander Kane, Kyle Turris, Wayne Simmons. Can't break that up just yet. Third line, Adam Ernie seems like he's uh, topped off at 84, 85 overall. Uh, Johan Larson, I can move him if I need to because I know we have some youngins who need to play the third line. And Baptiste as well. Yeah, we got a lot of third liners. Third liner right there. Larson, third line scorer. Adam Ernie, third line scorer. Estefan, third line scorer. Gergensen's third line scorer. And Altonen, third line checker. So we don't have a single fourth line. We have a bunch of third liners. I would need to give these guys on the fourth some penalty kill time, but I don't know if I can do that because I got to give that to these guys who are not on the first line, right? So we may run into ice time issues this year, boys. But uh, if we don't, I mean, that's a pretty nice looking team. Don't you agree? Everyone's playing their position except for F Estefan. We could use a third or fourth line left winger to have everyone in their perfect position. Larson, I think, could go... And then you get one left winger there. I don't know. But remember that guy that we have down there in the AHL as well. So now I'll look at my defensive core. Victor Hedman, Sean Day, 86. There's his stats. Is he ready to play the first line? Or should we... I think I should still just leave it with Ryan Ellis. He's well-rounded offensive defenseman. I got Bogosian because he's a top four. Are we trading away Bogosian as well? Because Sean Day... Sean Day is listed as a top four defenseman. And Gooley... Gooley is listed as a top four defenseman. I think I think I got to get Gooley in there and then find a uh, partner for Rasmus. Then it can look like that. And then if one of these guys grow, they can move up to the first line with uh, Victor Hedman. So I, I like our team here, boys. I like the way it looks. I think we have a stacked squad, but we may run into ice time issues. And if we do, if you guys agree with that, who should we trade and for what? There's Malcolm Subban and Martin Jones, all right? So, I mean, I like our squad. I've been building this squad every year. I know it's been through failure, but we got a stack squad now, man. We really do. Nice combination of young guns with uh, some big-time players. I'll do my AHL lines in the next video. We don't have to worry about that right now. I want to know what you guys have to say about the NHL squad, all right? So, boys, let me know. It's saying right now, 94 for offense, 93 for defense, 93 for goaltending. I don't know, boys. I just don't know. Let me know, and I will see you in the next one.